simply not acceptable that our younger generation, through no fault of their own, will have a lower standard of living than their parents, more debt, lower wages, and less likelihood of owning their own homes. That is why this proposal completely eliminates student debt in this country and ends the absurdity of sentencing an entire generation, the millennial generation, to a lifetime of debt for the crime of doing the right thing, and that is going out and getting a higher education. The American people bailed out Wall Street. Now it is time for Wall Street to come to the aid of the middle class of this country. This Wall Street tax will have the added benefit of controlling Wall Street recklessness and reducing the likelihood of another major economic crash. Bottom line is we should not be punishing people for getting a higher education. It is time to hit the reset button. Under the proposal that we introduced today, all student debt would be canceled in six months. That the major opponents of this legislation, mark my words, will be exactly the same people who told us how important it was to bail out Wall Street. And if you could bail out Wall Street, we could bail out the middle class of this country. You might ask, why full cancellation? What about the people who can pay off their student debt? Well, let me say this. The children of Donald Trump aren't asking or taking out student loans. Canceling student debt is a problem of the poor and the middle class, not of the rich. So rather than making exceptions, let's end this crisis entirely once and for all. So we can ask speculators on Wall Street to pay small financial transaction tax, which would fully fund student loan forgiveness over 10 years. The American people bailed out Wall Street. It's time for Wall Street to bail out the American people. In order for me to get a chance to pay off my student loans, I had to do something that was nearly impossible. And I don't think that that is the bar through which a person should be able to access education, health care, and a bevy of other things that should be considered human rights. And this bill, and I'm so excited to be introducing this bill with Senator Sanders, Congresswoman uh, Omar, and Congresswoman Jayapal, to make sure that we start embarking on the solutions to these problems. So